Now, isn't that the thing you want to see? That is the Wolf River here. I'm at Chico's Landing, and they just gave me permission to fly out of here, which was a ton of fun. But I'm going to be doing some flights over on the Wolf River sporadically when I get the chance, everybody. Um, I'm not in this area as much as I am with, like, the, the ice conditions out on Lake Winnebago and Poygan. But over here on the beautiful Wolf, I'll be getting out here when I can. I'll also be getting out up at De Pere once or twice through the season just so you guys can see what that looks like that fiasco up there um in that area and then also over in oshkosh so that'll be kind of at the oh i forget rainbow park right over there so some more flights coming up and also a little bit more drone ice conditions hey subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed it does not cost you a darn thing nothing zero nada which is great but it helps me a lot so just subscribe and what you can do is see when i'm putting out these videos thanks everyone enjoy your time in the outdoors and again big shout out to chico's for letting me film and fly here thanks everyone bye all right last time i filmed this area i decided the easiest way to show you guys what's going on is simply to put upstream or downstream and the location of the flight might be up by red banks might be down here at chico's might be in fremont might be up in De Pere. it depends so take a look at that you'll see that information will give you a guidance on what we're looking at in the show notes i'm going to have the actual locations of the flights with links to google maps so you guys can find out where you're going as you can see right here this flight Light was on March 4th and there is some ice in the river still so let's take a look at this we're gonna fly out of Chico's first all right so here we are at Chico's we're looking down towards Lake Poygan that's off in the distance there and you can see the ice flows still coming down a few years back I was actually up here right when those ice flows um, broke up so this is looking kind of straight down from the drone. So if you're familiar with Chico's, we're actually looking downstream right now around that bend that's real close to where their launch is at there. Now we just swung the camera around and now we're looking back upstream. Now only a couple boats out there yesterday. You can see things are still locked up in those backwaters and it's it's it looks pretty nice. Now I'm not going to have as much narrative on these as I do when I'm doing the drone ice conditions out on Lake Winnebago, Lake Poygan, once in a while down on Big Green and some other ones simply because there isn't as much to talk about. So I'll put some music on in the background and you guys can kind of see what's going on now on these flights i'm actually going to flip the camera so it is straight down and we're going to cruise up the river or possibly down the river depending on what we're looking at the cool thing is when the water is very very cold you can actually see um, some of the bottom features and right now the water is really low so pay attention to um, which way the shore is bending and which way the dark in the water is and that'll show you where the deeper water is so when the water level comes up you'll see where the the darker deeper faster moving water is versus that slower water that's in those shallower sections so this is pretty beneficial to everybody if you're paying attention to this now I do need some feedback from everyone because these are, this is only the second year I've done these over on the wolf. So if you can go into YouTube, not on Facebook, go into YouTube and make some comments on here and let me know what you want to see in in or liked and don't like about these videos should i make this faster should i speed this up is the straight down view beneficial is it not beneficial what do you want to see i can do some things now keep in mind i have to fly within the rules and regulations uh, that the federal government sets for me. So I am limited on what I can and can't do. But to me, this is actually a beneficial. If you look off to the left side, you can see that is a shallower section of the river. That right side is deeper, obviously. So when you're when you're fishing the walleyes, depending on your tactics and what time of the year, if it's the, you know, beginning of this, the run or the end of the run, that may dictate, you know, based on these videos where you're going to fish. And also the nice folks at Chico's or some of the other places like Moz will give you advice on what sections and what structure to look for. So give me some feedback. I really need the feedback, everybody. It helps me get these videos better and more beneficial to everybody. 
We're going to be finishing up this flight over by Chico's in just a minute, and then we're going to be heading over to Fremont to see what's going on there. Now, in Fremont, there was one launch open in that area that you could get out of that was located right underneath the bridge in town. So there was one of the two launches in that area open. So uh, the guys over at Moz said the fishing in that area has been slow, but there's still ice fishing up in the lake that's just to the north there. So if you're interested in heading over that direction and in maybe going ice fishing a little bit as long as the ice is safe um, you could do that and then you could hop in the boat and go regular fishing in a little bit Now, because I'm the pilot in command, I was able to flip the drone around and face downstream. Now, we're going to take a slow, steady flight with the city and everything in view here. Now, I want some feedback from everybody. Again, go to YouTube, put a comment in there, tell me what you like and don't like about this. Um, I'm going to, after this flight is over, I'm going to actually do that straight down view again so you guys can see what it looks like in Fremont. Now, if you look at the left side of the screen where that ice is on there, you can see that uh, the water level is very low. A lot of times when I'm up there fishing or filming, that water level is right up to those trees. Now, it's up there, but I mean, it it's, it's low right now, and that's what everyone's telling me in this area. So watch your transom. If you do go out there fishing, take it slow and check this out as we look at this. Again, please leave me some feedback. I really need that feedback, everyone. Um, I'm just going to let you watch this. I'm going to just stop talking for a minute here, check this out, and then I'll flip on that other one. Now, this is that down view that I was talking about. Now, if we're going along here, you're going to see some bottom structure, which is pretty dang interesting. And when I look at the Wolf River Cam, which is fun to watch in the spring, we actually see the fish hanging there. You can watch them sometimes just get right in front of that camera and they hunker down and they just stay there and they don't move. Well, if you look at some of this structure that you're able to see from this down view, you can kind of see what they're doing. There's a little strips of sand and then it looks like a dark spot so a strip of sand and then a dark spot a strip of sand there's that there's the launch that is open in Fremont right there to the left of the screen right now but you'll see that in just a minute I think that the fish come in and they're tucking into those little bumps in the sand when they need a break um, give me your thoughts on that tell me what you guys think or if you're a fisheries biologist tell me what you know but this is that area that I'm talking about with those little bumps in the sand so there's that bottom structure and you can see if that fish would tuck into that dark area, each one of those dark spots that's on there, in my opinion, I have no science based on this other than trout fishing, and I know they hide behind rocks, trout that is, um, that's going to be a current break. So that's interesting. Now, you can see where there is shallow water down the middle and deeper water on the right and left of the screen as we're flying upstream here again. Um, it's hard to fly the drone this way and actually get some good footage and keep it in. That's wood web footers launch right there down to the left. Um, you can see that that one's not open yet. And when you're looking at this, just keep in mind, where are the fish going to be? What are the fish doing this time of year? So it may, will change the way you look at it. So enjoy this. I'm going to stop talking again and let you guys just check this out and analyze it. We're flying up towards that rock wall that's up towards the lake just outside of Fremont there.
people. If you hung out to the very end, either you're bored or you really enjoyed the video. Either way, give me some information and some feedback on this. We're finishing up here looking, going upstream at Chico's Landing in fast forward motion. I kind of think it's cool watching those ice flows and people launching and bringing their boats in. Those guys were very nice. Got to talk to them at the launch, which was cool. So again, big thanks to Chico's for letting me fly from there. They're a nice group of people if you need a place to launch your boat. The other places in the area are nice also. So patronize everybody. Give everyone a share of your money. Thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy your time in the outdoors. Tight lines.